Hi, my name is Wendy Muller and today I wanted to share with you a, a book that's had um, a really big effect on my online marketing success. It's a book by the name of Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of him, but um, there's a lot of really fantastic information to share for people in business. Um, the book is about 21 great ways to stop procrastinating and get done get more done in less less time so i just wanted to read um very quickly um uh, a reason why it's called eat that eat that frog so he um, in his book he says mark twain once said that if the first thing you do each morning is to eat a live frog you can go through the day with the satisfaction of knowing that it is probably the worst thing that is going to happen to you all day long your frog is your biggest most important task the one you are most likely to procrastinate on if you don't do something about it it's also the one task that can have the greatest impact, positive impact on your life and your results. So what I wanted to do today is to uh, share some information about that. Take, there's 21 tips, but I wanted to share the, um, the top five that have resonated for me and that have um, helped me in my online business journey. So um, thanks so much for yeah, participating in this with me and um, I'll get right into it. So number one is, the first one is that you've Plan every day in advance. That's the first and most important thing. Every minute spent in planning saves as many as 10 minutes in execution. So plan, plan, plan. Planning is simple to do. All you need is a piece of paper and a pen. And then you sit down and you make a list of everything you have to do before you begin. So that's pretty much all that needs to be done for you when you want to, need to when you need to plan. You always work from a list. And you always, um, when something new comes along, you then add that to the list before you actually do it. It's because um, we're going to need to prioritize those things on our list. So that's the importance of the list. And um, that's why you need, you need to, to do that. Doing this will help you prioritize what needs to be done first, second, and so on. So that's the reason for that. Um, the second point is, uh, the second one that I, uh, strategy from the book is called um, use the ABCDE method continually. So this is how it works, the ABCDE method. Um, you start with a list of everything that you have to do for the coming day and you think about that by putting it on paper or computer, you, you most of us um, type these days, so whatever works for you. You then place an A, B, C, D or E next to um, every item on your list before you actually begin doing any of those things on that list. So an A task is defined as something that's very important, something that you must do. Um, if you have more than one A on the task list, then you prioritize those. So they'll become A1, A2, A3, that sort of thing. If you, um, and then what you do then is that there are some tasks that, these are the tasks that are actually the ones that will have serious negative or positive consequences if you don't do them. So um, that would be, for example, not doing your video for the 21, every day for the 21 day uh, video challenge. So that would be um, an A on your, um, on your list if you're doing the video challenge um, with, with me. So they're the ones that are actually called the frogs in your life, the A tasks. They're the ones that need to be done before you move on and you do any of the other things that, need to, that you think not, might need to be done. So an A, um, a B item is something that you think you should do. So um, they would be, I guess, the next enlisting line for priority after the A is Bs. And then the C items, and they are something that would be nice to do, but for which there are no consequences if you don't do them. A D task is something that you can delegate to someone else, and it's important to remember that um, the rule is if you you can if you is you delegate everything that someone else can do, so that you have more time to spend on your A tasks. So that's why um, they're called D for delegate, and um, yeah, delegate those to people that you can, so you can spend more time on the A uh, eat those frog tasks. An E task is something that you can eliminate altogether. So it may be something that you continue to do out of habit or something that you just enjoy, but it's just important to remember that every minute that you spend on an E task is actually time away from the tasks that you can make, uh, that can make a real difference in your life. So pretty much E equals eliminate, I would, I would say. Okay, um, the third, uh, the third um, principle is called apply the rule of three. So what this means is that you determine the most important tasks that you do in your work and then you ask yourself, 
if I could only do one thing all day long, which one task would the greatest would be, contribute the greatest to my business? So you make sure that um, that's what you need to answer. And then you do that exercise two more times. So what happens then is that you end up with, um, you have, you've now identified your three, big three, and you concentrate on those mind, mind, single-mindedly all day. So that's why um, it's important to do the three of three. You can also do it in another way. You can identify your most important three goals in any area of your life. So whether that's business, family, home, career, uh, yeah, whatever, those three, the three most important goals. And then what you do is that you organise those by their priority. So you make plans for their accomplishment and you work on those plans every single day. So that three three gives you the structure that you need to um, prioritise and, um, and make sure you're spending time on the things that you really need to be spending on first. Okay, number four is develop a sense of urgency. So what you need to do is to resolve today to the result to develop a sense of urgency in everything you do. And that's very important in business and we're all wanting to achieve our goals. We need to have that sense of urgency. So select an area that where you've had a tendency to procrastinate, and I know I have quite a few of those, and then make a decision to develop the habit of, uh, of, the, of fast action in that area. Do it now. So no more procrastination. And finally, number five is motivate yourself into action. What you need to do that in that doing that is to control your thoughts. Remember that you become what you think about most of the time and be sure that when you are thinking and talking about the things you want to want rather than the things you don't want. So make sure that they're the things that you're really focusing on. So yeah, if I, I just wanted to recap, the book is called Brian Tracy, uh, Eat That Frog. I can highly recommend it. It's a fantastic book and very, very helpful in um, my online success. Thanks so much for tuning in today and for listening. And um, I hope you all have an absolutely fabulous and wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.